Operation Entebbe, also known as the Entebbe Incident, was a rescue mission performed by Israel's elite Sayeret Matkal to free hostages at the Entebbe airport in Uganda. On June 27, 1976, Air France Flight No. 139, originating in Tel Aviv and carrying 248 passengers and a crew of 12, took off from Athens, Greece, heading for Paris. Soon after takeoff, the flight was hijacked by four terrorists. The first destination was Libya, where it was held on the ground for seven hours for refueling. Thereafter, taking off and arriving at 3.15 the next morning at Entebbe Airport in Uganda. At Entebbe, the four hijackers were joined by pro-Palestinian forces of Uganda's president, Idi Amin. They demanded the release of 40 Palestinians held in Israel and 13 others imprisoned in Kenya, France, Switzerland and Germany, or they would begin killing hostages on July 1st. On the July 1st deadline, with no rescue mission in motion, the government of Israel offered to negotiate with the hijackers in order to extend the deadline to July 4th. On July 3rd, the Israeli cabinet approved Operation Entebbe under the command of Brigadier General Dan Shomron. Over a hundred IDF troops, including members of the elite Sayeret Matkal team and possibly some Mossad troops, were involved at Entebbe with the support of the Kenyan government who opposed to Idi Amin's regime. The assault lasted less than 30 minutes, and six hijackers were killed. One hostage was killed when he leaped at the Israeli forces. Of the 105 hostages, three died. Colonel Netanyahu was the only Israeli military casualty during the operation. The rescued hostages were flown out shortly after the fighting via Nairobi to Israel. Today, 30 years after, Mayor of Entebbe, Stefan Kayube, announced during a ceremony in which were present a few hostages of the Entebbe incident, of his intention to tear down the city's airport in order to build a museum in memory of the people that died there and those whose lives were forever changed.